Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm gonna try the fudge recipe on video. Not gonna guarantee how it's gonna come out. Um, let me show you what I have down here on the stove. I hope I don't drop you all. I'm gonna bring the camera down this way. Uh, yeah, so bear with me, here we go. All right, you might see my thumb in there for a minute or whatever, but I wanna bring you down to the stove right here as you can see I got it on I got the stove on okay so in this pot here which I better start stirring by the way and I got my Betty Crocker little whiskey thingy so anyway I have here this 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and I have three cups of chocolate chips semi-sweet chocolate chips and a dash of salt. Now, this recipe is over 30 years old. I mean, it used to be on the back of the can of the sweetened condensed milk. So I'm gonna, and agents at it again. I'm sorry, he's beeping. So, all right, so we're gonna melt this all up, you know, and then I'll show you what you do next. So you're not going to be able to see me unless I squat down like this. Hi, guys. Yeah. So anyway, you're going to see how this is going to turn out. So use the semi-sweet chocolate uh, chips. And you don't add any sugar. The sugar is already in the sweetened condensed milk. So you don't have to add any extra sugar. And then in the chocolate, too, don't forget. Semi-sweet, though in the chocolate so i'm melting this down and let me show you what i have over here oh i also have some walnut pieces here and i have some vanilla extract and i'll show you what i'm going to do with that this was the salt i i just added it says a dash i do dun dun that's what i did with that and here i got the pan from dollar tree the one with the red top and i lined it with waxed paper so that way when it's done when it's cold oh god i think i'm i think i'm burning it all right it wouldn't be the first time guys all right so i'm going to shut the heat off because i do smell it yeah i don't want to um it only takes a minute like to melt all this up but anyway i hope it's all melted in there so let me move this can out of the way. Yeah, it used to be, the recipe used to be on the back of the can years ago for it. All right, so over here is where I'm going to put this. And I'm going to spread this out into the um, pan. It's very thick. And that's the pan that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to be able to show you what it looks like. You can see my radiator right there in my pajamas. I'm in pajamas. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I did wear a regular shirt, though. But I got my pajama bottoms on. Okay. So I'm going to spread it out in the pan. Like so. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, guys? See? Talking and all this other stuff. I forgot to um, put in the vanilla. And that's important. you got to put the vanilla in. <laughs> Welcome to Donna's Not So Much Cooking. Okay. Let's see. Let's put the vanilla in. I don't edit, guys. You can tell, right? So you need a, a teaspoon and a half. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm going to do three. There we go. A little extra. Never hurt anything. Okay. So I'm going to try and mix that in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So can you tell I haven't made this recipe in a long time? So anyway, I'm trying to mix in the vanilla now. All right, and then all you want to do, I guess some is going to be more vanilla -y than others, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, uh, you know, after it cools. 
because you want to uh, spread it even in the pan and then you want to cool it like for two hours in the fridge and let me throw that in there on one side I'm gonna put this is why I don't do cooking videos guys I don't cook so on one side I'm gonna put some walnuts because I like walnuts in mine and the other side I'm just gonna leave plain for whoever wants it plain and I just push it down in there like that and yeah all right it's already starting to set okay so I'm gonna cover this up let me show you that's what it looks like it smells really good yeah I just wish I put Guys, put the vanilla in after you take the chocolate off the stove. Make sure. Don't put it in the pan and then add the vanilla. That ain't going to work. Okay, let me bring you back up. Hold on. Guys, I have to learn how to edit and stuff. And Yeah, maybe this year I'll try it. But anyway, that's how easy the recipe is to make. And... On my little thingy here, I put it homemade fudge, 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, three cups of semi-sweet chocolate, dash of salt, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extra, extract. Cool two hours in the fridge, and then you slice it. The wax paper helps you lift it up out of the pan and then make your slices. Welcome to Not So Cooking, Tana. Not so much cooking. No. Mm, no, I used to bake years ago when I was younger. I used to bake all the time. Was never good at cooking. No, never good at cooking. Uh, needless to say, I burnt a lot of things. Uh, yeah, my dad used to cook in the family. My mother didn't cook either. My mother didn't have a, didn't know how to cook either. But that's what it looks like. It does smell really good, and it, it is really delicious and very easy to make. And I think it makes, the weight of it is like two pounds on that. Okay, so that's my fudge recipe. You saw me in my, my uh, regular top, my little snowflake earrings, and, well, now you can't see it. But anyway, my pajama bottoms. Okay. So, I hope everyone has a great day. And um, I don't think I'll be doing too many of these kind of videos. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. But I thought I'd try it. It was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> a little hot mess of a video, but I don't know. I tried it anyway. And... Um, I'm going painting tonight. My son is taking me painting, and it's up by um, the New England Patriot Stadium. They have a place up, up, up near there where you, um, where you paint. So I'm going to be painting a picture, and we'll see how that goes. And I'll see if I can film any of that. Not sure. But anyway, try this recipe. Just don't do it the way I did it. And um, <clears throat> like I said, guys, they used to have the recipe on the back of this can. So if you go to their website, which is here, they have hundreds of recipes, it says. Um, you can find it and follow their directions, not mine, because mine, you wouldn't put the vanilla in while it was in the pan, in, in the pan ready to set. Okay, hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, bye now.